YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. And today we are here in studio. Uh, if you can tell by the title, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to render a car. This idea was inspired by the video done by, I think it's pronounced Lee Chaha. You can check out their video down in the description below. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I would do it. So yeah, let's get right into it. Here's our studio in toolbox. You can look for any car you want, for example, Lamborghini, very popular choice. Um, let's choose the highest rated one. This blue one right here. Don't show again. All right, so we have this blue one right here. You want to inspect the model, making sure everything is proper. All right, I think it looks good. So now let's right click, let's go export selection. And here you can save it anywhere you want. Uh, a place that you can find it, so I'm gonna skip this part. All right, so here we are. Uh, first things first, hit A on your keyboard, hit X, click on delete, and now want to go up. To, now you want to go up to file, imports, and wavefront, and here's where you're gonna wanna open your file. So I'm gonna skip this part as well. All right, so now I have my model. Uh, first things first, let's go to object and let's click on origin to geometry right here. This is G X and G Y on your keyboard. Right, so here we are um okay so that's good now let's click on this bubble right here to enter into our render view right here all right now you're gonna want to go to um polyhaven.com choose any hdr you want uh just hit download choose any one you want um each one is going to have different lighting so just go ahead find one you like I'm just gonna pick this one. All right, now click over here, click the circle next to color, go to environment texture, hit open. Now select the XGI that you just uh, installed. Now, as you can see, this will apply some very basic lighting to our scene to make this look better. Let's go into render uh, properties. Let's go ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflections. Let's go into ambient occlusion and let's turn this setting up. Let's go to two. Now to turn this off, go to film. And hit transparent and as you can see we have our uh, neat little car here All right now to make this look even better uh we're just gonna click on our car hit tab on your keyboard click on this button click on your car right here let's go into material and you can hit tab to exit out of edit mode turn metallic up and roughness down in a future video we could make we could do a more complex uh, tutorial, more in depth, but this is for beginners. All right, click again, let's hit tab. Now we're gonna click on the lights. And right here on surface, you're gonna change to emission. Now turn this up and you will have your, now you will have your lights like that. Now we're gonna hit tab, we're gonna click on the window and we're gonna scroll down to settings, turn on screen space refraction right here we go to render settings let's go into screen space reflections and turn on refraction okay let's go back to material you want to turn transmission all the way up and you can adjust the roughness and also the IOR from here you can see we got some cool little, uh, reflections click a tab click on your rims your tires and you can also adjust these as well. Roughness. Like that. Like so. Now finally, all we have to do is we gotta hit Shift A. Let's add a camera. Hit Control, Alt, and Zero on your number pad. Okay, this is gonna go into camera. We're just gonna zoom out. Position uh, accordingly. You can zoom, you can change the focal length as well. I'm actually going to hire for this one so we have the entire car and that right there is pretty much it all you gotta do is hit render and hit render image and as you can see here is our car so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions make sure to comment down below um if this helps you make sure to leave a like subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video